In this problem, we're told on vacation, your 1400 kilogram car pulls a 560 kilogram trailer away from a stoplight with an acceleration of 1.85 meters per second squared. A, what is the net force exerted on the trailer? B, what force does the trailer exert on the car? And C, what is the net force acting on the car? So the first thing you always wanna do is draw what's going on. So we have this car or this trailer, which is 560 kilograms. It's gonna be accelerating at 1.85 meters per second squared because there's gonna be this car, right? 1400 kilograms pulling it. And so we know we're gonna have a tension force here right, because it's going to be pulling the car this way. And so now that we know that, let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the net force exerted on the trailer. So basically, we're looking at the force on this object, right? And we know force, according to New uh, Newton's second law, force is equal to mass times acceleration, or the net force, right? And so if we want to calculate the net force on an object, all we have to do is take the object's mass and multiply it by the rate at which it's, uh, it's accelerating. So in order to solve for this one, we just take the mass of the trailer. In this case, it's going to be 560 and multiply by the rate of acceleration, which is 1.85. So go ahead and do this 560 times 1.85. And when you do this, you're gonna get the force is equal to 1,036. And then we measure force in Newtons. So this is gonna be the net force or your answer to A. Now for B, what we're gonna be looking at is something a little bit different, right? So we're gonna be looking at uh, the force the trailer exerts on the car. So notice the net force on this, there's only gonna be uh, one force which is 1,036 newtons, right? We know this tension force is gonna be that. So the force this is gonna be exerting on it, right? Because we know this thing's pulling it. So this is gonna be the only force, and we know that this is the force it's gonna be exerting on it, right? Because it's pulling it this way. So your answer to A and B are actually just gonna be the same. So your answer for B is gonna be 1,036 newtons because this is the force it's exerting on it, right? So the, the net force on this is just the force it's pulling. So that means the force this is exerting is uh, just this. So the force is gonna be 1,036 newtons. Now for C, we're trying to find uh, the net force acting on the car. So in this time, instead of doing this object like we did for A, we're gonna be doing this object. So force equals mass times acceleration. And then we know the force, right? The mass of this object, which is our car, is 1,400 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration. And so they're gonna be accelerating at the same rate, which is just 1.85. So you just wanna do 1,400 times 1.85. So this is gonna be, the force equals 2,590, and then it's gonna be newtons. So for this one, C, you're gonna get 2,590 newtons. But yeah, so this is gonna be your answer to C, this is B, this is A, and yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.